Hello YouTube. In this video I'm going to show you how to use Traceroute in Windows command line to determine a path for a connection that's being made to your system. This will actually determine your quickest path to that said server. So the first thing you want to do is click on start. If you don't have command prompt anywhere up here don't feel bad. Just click down here in the search and run and type CMD and hit enter. Now you'll have your command prompt. So what we're going to do now is we're going to type in netstat dash nfo and this will give us a list out of what's connected to the system. Now out of this we're going to pick an IP address. So let's do the 3113661. So now we're going to type in ping dash a 31.13 66.1 this is actually going to send out ICMP packets that will reach out to that IP address and determine whether or not it's there and with the dash A it will also give us what the actual domain name is right here so you have edge star shiv01 facebook.com makes sense I'm currently connected to Facebook so from here we can do a tracer out T R A C E R T to 31.13.66.1. This uses ICMP again. It sets the time to live to one and goes out to the very first router. The very first router is gonna expire the TTL and send a report back that tells the system that unfortunately it reached the end. Well, what that does is it in increments the, t the time to live, the TTL, by one every step. As it continues to do this, it can reach out to every single one of the routers that's going to be in the path. As you can see, there's a grand total of nine routers between me and the connection. Well, there's a grand total of eight, actually, because the ninth one is the connection. So that means there's eight hops between me and my connection to Facebook.com. So that is my route to Facebook. If you look real quick, it'll tell you what the seconds are for each one. It'll tell you what the IP address is and if it can actually resolve it, what the domain name is as well. So you have my router another router another router another router and then it comes back to Cox so those are all part of my ISP those are all ISP routers once we finally hit the ISP now we're actually getting out somewhere and then we finally reach our connection so that's one of the ways you can actually find your route or how many hops it's going to take or what IP addresses you're going to bounce through to reach a destination this is also a pretty good indicator. I'm not saying that it's absolutely going to take that route, but there's a pretty good possibility that that might also be the route that that connection's making to get to you. So this is one way to be able to see what is actually connected to your system and what route it's possibly taking or what your best route is to get back to that particular system. This information's out there for absolutely everybody as always. Watch, like, and share. Have a great day.